So we have created catalog, we have created delivery group, and we are good to test connectivity using Citrix receiver. However, there are some tweaks that you might want to do to your Citrix storefront, and this is what I will cover in this video. These settings are not mandatory. It depends on your choice or your environment, but let me just show it to you. If you recall, when we installed certificate, we changed the base URL to HTTPS, which is a requirement. Uh, we did install certificate, and after installing certificate, we went to change base URL and change the URL to HTTPS so that our connection can be secure. Under authentication, <clears throat> I can change different authentication methods. I can add additional authentication methods. <clears throat> Excuse me. By default, it's just username and password. I can add domain pass-through, smart card, HTTP basic. I would like to add domain pass-through in addition to username and password. And now we'll have two different authentication methods. One is usually enough, but again, I'm just, just showing you these options. Configure trusted domain. By default, users are allowed to log in from any domain, but you can restrict them to one of or more trusted domains. Here I can specify name of the domain. And this domain I trust, and I want users to log on from this domain only. Down there, I can also set default domain. Manage password options. Do you want, if you want to change, you allow, allow you to change passwords. You can change the settings. And this is the store service. See, it's HTTPS. Because once you change base URL, it's changed everywhere. If I go to manage delivery controller and I select this delivery controller over here and edit the properties, the transport type is HTTP. I can change it to HTTPS. This you might like to do it. It's recommended to do it because if you have certificate, let's uh, use HTTPS for everything. It's more secure, no doubt about it. And what else I can show you? Yep. Integrate with Citrix Online. By default, these three applications will appear when you publish applications. Go to meeting, go to webinar, go to training. If you don't want those, I mean, these softwares to appear under published applications, you can just disable them. And okay, Citrix receiver for web. This is when the client will use web browser. So when the client will use web browser and connect to this URL, what will happen? You want Citrix Zen desktop or storefront to offer clients receiver to download or they can use HTML5 or if you want to give them both options, you can, you can mention here. So you can choose how to deploy Citrix receiver you can say install locally or use receiver for HTML5 if local install fails or always use receiver for HTML5. No doubt Citrix receiver provides better performance. Receiver for HTML5 comes second to it. So second option is best of both worlds allow them to use Citrix receiver. If somehow they cannot install, then let them use a receiver for HTML5. Here, if you want to add some website shortcuts, 
when they connect to your storefront those receiver for web when you can do that so um, more or less these are the settings you can even test uh, your Citrix connections without changing any of these uh, this is related to uh, you know remote access if you have let's here I'm just showing you around uh, so if you have you know if you have basically uh, if you want to tweak your environment just go ahead otherwise uh, you can just keep default settings and it should be good enough for testing however uh, there are several options that you like to tweak like adding trusted domains adding authentication methods uh, it could good to know that you have this flexibility so this is it guys uh, thank you for watching